Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini, this is the Enchanted Planner and I am reviewing a wellness planner for you today. This company reached out to me and asked me if I would take a look at one of their planners and offer some honest thoughts. So this is the Jobtech three month undated wellness planner. Comes in a variety of colors and you know I had to have the purple. Um, this planner is a hardcover A5 with 100 GSM paper. It's white, it has a pen loop, it has a pocket in the back. It has ribbon bookmarks, wherever they are, ribbon bookmarks. And it comes with a few stickers. So some of the stickers are just some inspirational stuff. And then on here, it's got some little button stickers that say like alcohol free, lactose free, workout, stay hydrated, uh, meditate. So it's kind of cute. Okay, this company has a few different kinds of planners, including meal planners, budget planners, weekly planners, and then of course this wellness planner to name a few. There will be a link in the description with an exclusive discount just for you guys if you'd like to check it out. The planner is really inexpensive. It's only $13.97, so not bad. Opening it up, we have the name page. Then we have a 12 month undated habit tracking calendar. Now, initially I was a little confused because it's only a three month undated planner, not 12. However, thinking on it, it made some sense. You could track four different goals for the three months, or if you have a situation where you need to stop exercising or stop a habit for a bit and pick it back up in a new month, you have that flexibility. Turning the page, we have a measurements page. At the top, it has diagrams on where to measure. And then of course, across the top of the graph, it has starting data, goals, finishing data. And then coming down the column, it says weight, height, body fat, percentage, neck, chest, bicep, waist, hips, thigh, and calf. The only thing I would add is that measuring both arms and legs is a good idea. More importantly, legs. This is something I do with myself and my clients. Catching muscle imbalances shows that there may be something that needs to be corrected. It could be that one arm or leg is doing more of the work. It could be a posture problem to fix. So it's always best to catch them. So important to measure both sides. Next, we have some journaling prompts. These are a great exercise to do. I encourage everyone to really peel back those onion layers and get to the heart of why you want to achieve your health goals because that why is what's gonna keep you going on those tough days. So you've got an area for a picture. And then you've got, why do I want to reach this goal? How will I feel when I have reached this goal and steps to take to achieve this goal? Then we get into the meat and potatoes of the planner. So across the top, we have an area for the date, the days of the week. Then we have a little chart here that says, or sorry, graph here, not graph, oh my gosh, box. <laughs> Weight, body fat, sleep, water, fruits, and vegetables. I don't recommend people weighing themselves every day, but we'll come, we'll circle back to that in a second. Then over here, we have um, a mood tracker, energy level and activity level. The reason I don't recommend people weigh themselves every day is I think it creates an unhealthy relationship with the scale. Once a week is more than enough. Weight can fluctuate from week to week, let alone from day to day, depending upon where you are in your menstrual cycle, how much salt you've had, whether you've had bowel movements. There's a number of factors that impact your weight. So I don't recommend at all once a day. So just keep that in mind. Going across the top, we have products, amount, calories, fat, carbs, fiber, and protein. So of course, this is the nutrition tracker side. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then totals. I was actually pretty excited to see fiber in this category because fiber is part of the fat fighting combo of protein, fats, and fiber. We don't get near the amount of fiber in our nutrition and it's necessary, even crucial for health. So having fiber is a good thing. Now, moving on to this side, we have the exercise tracker or the exercise program portion. So at the top, you have how the workout went, how the day went, and then bad, okay, good, and great and then lines to write in. And then we have this area where you can write in your exercises, write in your reps and your weights, and then the number of sets that you do. Most people only do two to three sets of their exercises. So, you know, you don't really need all six, but they're there if you did happen to need them. And then at the bottom, we have a cardio area, which is cardio time, calories burned, and average heart rate. 
And this is the bulk of the planner. This is three months worth of it, right? So now we're gonna go to the back and we're gonna take a look at the cheat sheet. <laughs> so here you have this great little chart for calories and macros for common foods. The following chart lists many common foods with their calories and macro information. For information on foods not listed here, visit such and such websites. Then we have these categories, meat, fish, and proteins, dairy and eggs, greens, nuts, beans, and legumes, and then fruits and vegetables. And then a little write up down here that says an optimal diet is a mix of carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Each of these has a different calorie count. It should say value, but sometimes things get lost in translation. One gram of carbohydrates is four calories. One gram of fat is nine calories. One gram of protein is four calories. If you're striving to boost your metabolism and or build muscle, aim for this ratio, 40% protein, 35% carbohydrates, 25% fat. If you want to lose fat, your diet should look like this, 45% protein, 35% carbohydrates, and 20% fat. Now keep in mind, these are just guidelines. As I said, every body is different, like everybody's different. And this is why I think personally, and I recommend that people work with a dietitian or a properly credentialed health professional. Yes, there is an expense, but in the long run, it can save you a lot of heartache and issues. Then the final page is just a review page where you can go through more journal prompts of did I achieve my main goal? If not, why not? What were the biggest lessons learned, insights gained? How do I feel about my progress? And what is the next goal? And how will I improve? So the next thing we're going to do is a pen test. So I've got some pens out here. I've got my Pentel Energel 0.3 my 0 0.5. I've got like a felt type pen. I've got a paper mate. I've got uh, and a couple of highlighters. Now, um, I do know one of them shadows. I've already filmed this video once and I was almost at the end of it. And then my neighbor started shoveling snow right underneath my window and it was really loud. So I've had to start again, but that's what we're going to do. So I do know one of them bleeds, not bleeds, but shadows a bit, but we're going to go through it anyways. So I think we're going to mix it up because I did bicep last time. Let's do tricep extensions. That's that one. And then we'll go tricep extension. I want all the words to be the same. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's go paper meat next. Tricep extension. This is the one that shadows. But I mean, it is a felt, right? Or I'm not really sure what it is, but it's very, very, very wet ink. But I love it. It's a beautiful pen. It writes really well. And then I brought out a couple of highlighters because I wanted to see if they would shadow at all. So I've got a mild liner, a zebra mild liner, and then I've just got a Sharpie highlighter. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, let's do the purple too. Why not? Okay. Ready, ready for it. Ready for it. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Drum roll. Okay. So it's, it shadowed. The one that shadowed was this OptiFlow by Staples. This is a very wet ink. It bleeds through a lot or shadows through a lot. So I was not overly surprised, but everyone else is good. They didn't shadow, which is nice to see because I don't like shadowing at all. It's, it's one of my biggest pet peeves, but what are my overall thoughts? This is very similar to journals that I actually give my clients. So that's awesome. I love that it's neutral. I do wish that it was on discs, but I have taken bound journals apart and placed them onto discs. So I might do that. Um, so yeah, let me know. Are you setting any health goals for the new year? If so, please feel free to share them in the comments if you're comfortable. No stress or pressure. If you're not comfortable, that's totally cool too. If you'd like to get a little mini reset on your health and wellness, why not join us in the free five-day wellness challenge that I'm hosting? It starts on Monday, December 5th, but you could join at any time throughout the week as the information and the video content will live in the group for the whole month of December, so you can always catch the replays. I will leave information for that down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button on the way out. I'd love you to subscribe and come back and hang out with me. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.